Let's do this. I have a automatic desk that goes up and down. Whoa. Of course, I could be smashing stuff now and not realizing it. That was fun. Let's go back up. Come on, baby. You can do it. Oh. Happy Monday, everybody. Today's episode is brought to you by Squirms. Nuclear Squirms. They're nuclear. Look how he's got a radioactive hat on. That's how nuclear it is. I got these uh, Halloween, and I've just figured out that after about three months, they get hard as a rock and are impossible to eat. Fortunately, I'm down to one package. And one package of Sour Jacks. Look how sour they are. He just, he's, yeah. And then I got some actually pretty good for me, mulches food snacks. I'm, con I'm consumed with food. I'm consumed with consuming food. I'm starving. I skipped lunch again. I got to get out of here. Get some food, man. <sighs> so, it's 5.54. It's 27 outside, and it's snowing. It, and it snowed just enough to put a coating on the ground and not the melt immediately coating. It's the coating that stays there, and it will be just, just enough in this part of the Twin Cities metro to make driving incredibly treacherous and a big pain in the butt, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, if I crash the car, well, at least I'll have something interesting to talk about next time. But this is also the day before Valentine's Day. I'm taking Valentine's Day off. Uh, I'm going to take Kim to the Minnesota History Museum. We're going to catch the 1968 exhibit before it disappears. And then we'll probably have a romantic dinner at whatever place will let us in without a reservation because I haven't planned that far ahead. Come to think of it, I need to go to the bank. Come to think of it, I need to put gas in the car. Oh, but it's snowing outside. What a terrible time for that. Oh, anyway. I can say all this because I'm pretty sure she's not watching. I think that was one of your questions, too. Probably Pie Man. Pie Man's obsessed with Kim. Yes. What does your wife think of these videos? Might she be inclined to do something like this as well? No, you'll never see her ever. I can't even get her on the on the message board. She doesn't even. She barely blogs as it is. I, in fact, I don't think she blogs at all. I think uh, she's doing the Tumblr thing and then she tweets about uh, once a week, every couple of weeks, depending on how boring uh, it is at the Target Center waiting for the game to start. So. I'm absolutely certain she's not watching this. She probably would tell me, I don't know, unless she's trying to gather information against me for later. That seems unlikely too, though, so no, uh, she's not. And, you know, you can follow her on Twitter and try to cajole her into saying something, but you didn't hear that from me. And if you want to see her Tumblr, it's uh, you can go to rubytracks.com, but it's not that one. It's thanatogenis.com. And if you don't know how to spell that, that sucks to be you. There's probably a link to that somewhere. Did I put a link to that on my own page? I know I have a couple of links to Kim's sites, but I don't know which ones. Probably some dead ones. Oh, no, I did. So if you go to my website, crz.net, in the lower right-hand corner, the very lower right-hand corner, you can get to thanatogenis.com and see what she's into, which right now involves uh, kittens or vintage advertising she's you know she's at a job right now where she isn't online so which sucks because we used to chat all the time but she's probably actually doing real work and I should probably be doing real work so in that sense it's good but the internet is deprived of her talent sad internet let's see what else I had to answer from over the weekend Staggerly asks about Whitney Houston. I learned about Whitney Houston dying literally seconds before the National Anthem started at the Knicks-Timberwolves game when someone retweeted the AP, and then I retweeted her. It was one of the news reporters I follow, and I retweeted that out to the world. So I did my part. Questions. What's your favorite Whitney Houston song? Don't lie, we all have a favorite Whitney Houston song. Uh, my favorite Whitney Houston song is Whitney Joins the Jams by the KLF. That probably doesn't count. So I'll say 
I want to dance with somebody who loves me. Which is what's basically the sample that they built that song off of. What's your opinion of people making jokes about famous people passing? They're jerks. It would take less characters to just put, I'm a jerk on Twitter, and it would accomplish the same effect. It'd save us all a lot of time. Everybody's important to somebody. You know, and I've been guilty of this in the past, too, but I, I try not to make fun of dead people, at least until it gets so overwhelmingly overwrought. I mean, the Steve Jobs thing, was, it couldn't be too soon to make jokes about him the way some people were acting, so it's all about moderation, I guess. What's the amount of time that has to pass before it's okay to make fun of the dead, in your opinion? It depends who. Also depends how hilarious their death was. Sadly, Whitney's was not hilarious. It's very sad. I really liked her. And everybody's like, oh, well, you know, you can't expect it. I'm like, no, because she was still out there and out in public. It's not like somebody you hadn't seen for months, and it's like, oh, yeah, okay. Because she was still out there. And then, you know, you go to TMZ, you find out what people were talking about hours before it happened. So, yeah, it's depressing. Whitney Houston and Claire Fisher and uh, Don Cornelius. Those are my three. So if they happen in threes, those will be my three. A lot of people don't know who Claire Fisher is. That's that's your problem. You have to look it up. Doug wants to know what I make of all the Lynn sanity. Uh, it's been a week since we all discovered Lynn. I actually discovered him a week ago tonight watching him on TV, uh, NBA TV while waiting for Raw to start. And that was his second game, I think. And I'd already heard about the hype from the first game, but the hype seemed well-deserved. And at the time, I even tweeted, I'm on his bandwagon. Uh, I was temporarily off his bandwagon while they played the Timberwolves. And I think the Timberwolves did a pretty good job with him. Well, at least for one half, they did. And it turns out his line was still, he still got 20 points and 8 assists. And I'm not sure how that happened, but I guess it had something to do with Kevin Love getting 32 and 21 rebounds. And the big man, Nikola, 21 points and 13 rebounds. If you haven't seen Where in the World is Nikola Pekovic, I have linked to that video uh, from my Twitter. Go find it. It's probably more hilarious in the arena than it is on YouTube, but still, gives you an idea of the wacky shenanigans that go on in the Target Center during a Timberwolves game. Timberwolves are in Orlando tonight. I have not gotten a call from Flea. I would have expected that I would have, but that may mean he's not going to the game or that he is going to the game and is too busy to call me. Uh, Flea, when you see this tonight, if you see this tonight, anxiously awaiting your take on the Timberwolves Magic game, if indeed you were in attendance, we shall see. It's kind of a light week for me this week, though. There's a game Wednesday. Who are they playing? The Bobcats. That should be a win. And then that's it for home games this week. So we can kind of take a breath there. Thank goodness. This business of three and four games a week is getting to me. We did renew our tickets. We were blackmailed. It's like you can pay what you paid last year, or you can watch us double the prices next year. So I was like, okay, lock us in at that rate one more year. So they better do something good next year because we won't be able to afford them the year after that unless we come into a big sum of money between now and then, which, you know, this lucrative YouTube video career pans out. Courtside, baby. That's nine minutes, and I didn't even answer any of the questions about my hair, which everyone wants to know about. Well, you'll have to come back Wednesday. Not only will I talk about how fantastic my Valentine's Day was, but I will try to get to the hair questions. And if you want to get your question into the queue, you know what to do. Leave your message at the sound of the beep. Thank you for watching once again. Beep.